The Infinix Note 40 Pro remains one of the most impressive phones that we have reviewed this year so far. And it's all due to the various cool features that this mid-ranger comes with, which would probably be rare for a device of its price range. But the phone has even more features that even a daily owner would probably not be able to find. And that's why we are here. Hello guys, my name is Dennis Suowero, this is TechWiz. Let's talk. One of the main pet peeves I have with XOS is that you get some pre-installed apps or games that you didn't even ask for. So say some of them can't seem to go away even when you try to uninstall them. What then? Well, the Note 40 Pro has a feature called XHide that lets you hide apps from the interface completely. All you do is head over to the desktop settings by long pressing the home page until the settings icon pops up. Tap the settings icon, then hidden apps. You will be required to input your unlocking or locking details, be it a password or a pattern. On the X side page, tap apps, then select whatever app you want to be hidden from the interface as a whole, and you're good to go. Oh, you can also do this for any files or videos that you wish to hide, be it pictures, videos, or even documents. Just remember, you can get to repeat the same steps if you want to unhide the items that you chose earlier. The Note 40 Pro's flashlight is one of the main highlights of this device, of course, led by the active halo lighting. But Infinix seems to have gone a step further with some cool features to make the flashlight a fun feature, not just one big, big bright touch. That's where the 360 flash comes in, a feature that enables you to have both the front and back flashlights on at the same time. Just scroll down the notification bar, press the roll down button on the flash light button and select 360 degree flash. This would probably work best for vloggers who wish to dual record while in dark environments. You might be one of those people who values their privacy to a whole new level and don't want people snooping around your active apps. Then you can easily prevent that by blurring the apps on your multitasking window. All you have to do is go there by scrolling up on the home screen. Scroll to the app whose preview you wish to hide. On top of the preview, lightly tap the scroll down menu icon and press blur. You're welcome. Xclone is a feature that would probably be useful to those who run multiple accounts on the same social media platform. Say you have an account that is personal and one for your business on Instagram. Well, you don't have to keep switching on the same app since Xclone allows you to have the same app on the phone twice. Go to the settings, search or scroll down to special function, then scroll down to Xclone and select the app that you wish to clone. The feature will create a dual space for the app and you can now have different accounts for each app by logging in and you will get to know the cloned app through a sort of special icon on the app. YouTube users, this is probably the one feature that you will love the most as you can get to easily multitask while still watching your favorite channels. To enable it, head over to the same special function page and settings, tap floating windows and press the switch to enable it. You can select the settings you want for the feature, including whether you want the three finger swipe gesture to activate it or not. Then head over back to the app drawer, open the app you want, close it and open the multitasking window and tap the floating windows icon on the right top corner of the preview you have your floating window that you can even get to move around the screen as you move around the app that is active. With a cool phone comes the attraction to kids who want to ask you for your phone all the time to play games. Well, you can prevent that. You can prevent them from accessing apps they don't need to go through through XOS 14 kids mode on this phone. The special function section, which we've mentioned several times now, gives you that as you can just scroll down and tap kids mode where you can get to select various settings like the kind of apps you want available for the kids and the time limit per use, 
auto eye care, and much more. Auto recording calls is a feature that I might probably have to whisper about since it's not really legal everywhere. But if you really need to record calls, then you can thanks to the Note 40 Pro where you do not have to install a third party app to do so as is common with other smartphones. Just go to the call app, tap the settings icon on the top right corner and enable or disable auto record calls. Like I said, this is a very peculiar feature, so make sure it is legal wherever you are and that the person on the other end has consented to the call before being recorded. One thing I like about the Note 40 Pro is how much Infinix have made it a device that can hold its own when it comes to heavy graphic gaming. This is complemented by the fact that you have a window that lets you monitor and adjust most aspects of the phone while playing your favorite game. On the special function section, you get to tap on game mode, then tap the switch on the following page to activate it. From there, you can get to choose how your phone should behave while playing games from how your notifications should appear to sound effects to graphic effects and more. From there, you can get to open your game and as it starts, swipe the small bar appearing on the side. That window dubbed XBoost lets you see how your CPU and GPU are performing, how much power is consumed and you get more controls that you would normally get on the notification bar. The dynamic bar is a feature that you can also get to customize based on the notifications you want to pop up on it. Just head over to the special function, scroll down to magic ring and you get to select what you want to appear on the bar, be it charging, background calls, face unlock animations or even if you want to completely deactivate it. Managing your screen time is one thing that seems to be slowly being adapted among smartphone users everywhere of late and it looks like Infinix wants to encourage that as well, I hope. Well, you can get to manage how much time you spend on every single app that you have on the Note 40 Pro by going to the settings, scrolling down to the digital well-being and parental controls, then dashboard and pressing on any app you want to time on the app timer. There is so much more that you can find as you get to use this smartphone and the XOS 14 seems to be one of the main reasons for so many features that some users may not get to discover but now you know thanks to this video. So let us know in the comments what other hidden features you found on the Infinix Note 40 Pro if you own one. This has been fun, make sure to like, share and subscribe and as always I will see you in the next one.